Hi guys, in today's tutorial I would like to show you one of my all-time favorite basic circuits which is the comparator fade-out. I want to show you quite a bunch of basic circuits which I'm often using in my redstone contraptions so you can develop redstone creations yourself and this is definitely one of them. The fade-out is basically a circuit which extends the pulse after the input went into the fade-out. As you saw, the button got released and the output stayed on for quite a bit longer than the button press actually is. This can be, for example, useful for a piston door because for a piston door you want to have often a extended pulse so it stays open for longer and closes once everybody went through that door. This is now with the fade out applied to it and if I just take out the fade out down here you can see that the door closes way quicker after I went off the pressure plate. So the door might break if multiple people step through, if the door is more complicated or just somebody gets crushed inside the pistons. The way this fade out works is actually quite simple. Redstone signals are analog and so they can have a maximum value of 15. If I press the button I apply the redstone level of 15 to all of these redstone dust here on the ground and if uh, the button gets then released you can see that uh, this one will be 15 while this one is then just 14 that get processed through the block 14 is put to here and then 14 comes to this redstone piece so then 13 is here which means then after two ticks the 13 is over here, then 13, 12 and so on until it reaches zero. So within two ticks it's always subtracting one redstone level from this um, fade out here. This can of course be also changed to other timings and that is quite easy by just changing the arrangement of the comparators a little bit. Here you can see that I've put three of these comparator fadeouts up and they all have different timings as you can see. So if we start over here you can see now that there is not a block on one side like in this one that we had over there. Which then means that while going around one time we subtract two from uh, the uh, signal because uh, if we have a 15 here then it's 14 here, 14 here, 13 and then this 15 gets changed to a 13. So uh, then we've got 12, this 14 gets changed to a 12 and so on so it always puts it down by two. This one here we already had puts it down by one and this one here is the same one as this one here just that it takes four tick to subtract one so this here takes twice as long as this one where this one takes twice as long as that one but consider that your input since this is 10 ticks always gets added to the fade out so we've got 10 ticks of fade out and then the actual fade out is happening. So I hope that you find this basic tutorial for the fade out useful. If you liked this video then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then have a great day.